Final segment, Real Talk Sports, Season 2, Episode 3. College football, we're going to touch on, of course, Colorado versus Baylor. Colorado, man, is just hot-button topic. Like, what a fantastic game that was. Colorado beat Baylor 38-31. to Basically, on the last plays of the game, Shador Sanders, 25-41, 341 yards, two touchdowns. Threw a Hail Mary at the end of the game to send it into overtime. Rain coming down. This man rolled left, took a big hit, threw it deep, gave his receiver a chance, and the receiver came down with it. Game goes to overtime. Colorado gets the ball first. Colorado scores. Baylor gets the ball next. They're, they're about to score. They're at the one-yard line. And who else but Travis Hunter comes and forces a fumble to win the game. So we talk a lot about Travis Hunter on offense because offense is the more exciting side of the field. That Well, that's what people think. I'm a defensive guy, but whatever. And, and on defense, Trav makes the play. Force fumble to win the game. Like... Love them or hate them, bro. How, how exciting is it to watch Colorado football? And, and I got to talk about Shador Sanders. Like, I think we forget that his mentor is Tom Brady. Let, let me say that again. Shador Sanders' mentor is Tom freaking Brady. <laughs> and if you watch Shador Sanders play football, you should see it. It's very evident. To me... Shador Sanders has the best pocket awareness, pocket mobility of any quarterback in college football. And I haven't watched them all, but trust me, I don't need to. Shador Sanders in the pocket is a magician. He's a magician in the pocket. Shador Sanders is a true pocket quarterback. And then he always talks about uh, TB12 time ends of the game where you got to be clutch. Shador Sanders, he, he's clutch. He just threw a Hail Mary to, to turn that game into overtime. And the play before the Hail Mary, he threw a deep ball that hit his receiver in the hands and he dropped it. Most, most athletes going to crumble. They're going to get discouraged. Not Shador. He just go back in the huddle and keep balling and throw another Hail Mary the next play and score. Like, it's crazy how how great of a quarterback I think Shador is. I don't, I don't know what y'all think. The off-the-field stuff, whatever. Whatever. That boy played quarterback real good. You feel me? Cuz played quarterback real good. And, of course, Travis Hunter, the, the best player in college football, does it on both sides of the ball. He has seven catches for 130 yards. And, and like I said, the game when they forced fumble. Both sides of the ball, he's dominating. He dominating on both sides of the ball, man. Like, Colorado 3-1. and one. Colorado 3-1. and one. So, we talk all this talk. They only play, beat up on the, the, the uh, lesser teams or whatever the case may be. But they 3-1 and one right now. And that game against Baylor, man, that was, that was exciting to watch. That was exciting to watch. College football... Is is doing what college football do? They just they just give us games that that are legendary, and then in Boulder they storm the field, bring down the goalposts in the rain. Like it's like what what more can you ask for, man? College football was crazy, uh, and I'm excited to see what happens moving forward, especially in this Heisman race because we got some quarterbacks that are playing out their mind. Cam Ward in Miami, you know he balling out of control and. Arch Manning for Texas. <sighs> now listen, that Manning boy for real. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to keep getting these starting reps once the starting quarterback, Quinn Ewers, gets healthy. But Manning, Manning balling, bro. Manning balling. So, so college football was dope. Michigan got the big win over Southern Cal, 27-24. Um, it, it was a good week of college football. And, I, and I'm excited to see how the season progresses for sure.